Hey everyone, this is Nick with MedSchoolMastery.com. Uh, one thing that I'm going to be uh, answering today is the easiest medical programs to get into. This is something I get asked a lot of times by these students on MedSchoolMastery.com. And um, it's, you know, it's a little bit misleading, but nevertheless we uh, have put together a group of the top five easiest programs to get into based off of acceptance rate. So we can go ahead and dive right into those and then I will sort of be adding on some information after that. So if you're looking just at the acceptance rate, there are five programs that have the highest acceptance rate um, of any programs, uh, MD programs in the nation. So those would be number one, the Mississippi School of Medicine it has a 40.7 acceptance uh, rate, 40.7 percent acceptance rate. The uh, Puerto Rico School of Medicine has a 28.7 percent acceptance rate. The Sanford School of Medicine has a 12.8 um, percent acceptance rate. The Shreveport School of Medicine in Louisiana has an 11.1 percent um, acceptance rate and UMass School of Medicine has a 10.7 percent acceptance rate. So this information was taken from um, uh, website online that had compiled the different acceptance rates of the medical school. So you can check that out yourself. Um, we have an article written on this in MedSchoolMastery.com that you can go and check out uh, right now. So it's important to note with all of these that um, acceptance rate is really sort of a difficult thing to look at because with a lot of medical programs um, it depends whether they're private or in-state. Generally in-state programs uh, they might have more applicants in state, they might be a bigger medical school, and so as a result they might be able to say yes to more students. That doesn't mean it's easier to get in because if you were to apply out of state it might be very difficult for you. For example, the Mississippi School of Medicine with the 40.7 percent acceptance rate, it just might be that there aren't very, very many people applying out of state to that and only in-state applicants are applying, and as a result since they're favored in state and it's a big medical school they have more spots to fill and they have a higher acceptance rate so uh, you should also compare the um, average MCAT and average GPA um, as well as the um, relative amounts of in-state and out-of-state applicants and sort of combining all these things acceptance rate average GPA average MCAT um, and the uh, percent of in-state versus out-of-state students by combining those, you can kind of get a more realistic picture as to which programs are the easiest to get into. Um, so it's also important to consider MD versus DO programs. So on MedSchoolMastery.com, we're almost only talking about MD programs. Um, but uh, it's important to note that DO programs open a lot of the same doors as MD programs, and they should be considered by students, especially those who are concerned about their ability to get into an MD program. It tends to be a little easier to get into a DO program, and they still produce very high-quality physicians that are able to apply into a wide variety of specialties. So it's something that you should consider as well. Um, so with all of these, I think it's important to remember that, you know, yes, you just need to get into one program to become a doctor. So, you know, that is a lofty goal in and of itself. It's a great goal in and of itself. But also remember that all pre-meds are high achievers, and there's a very wide range in, um, you know, the diversity of the applicants. So you don't really know when you're applying, you know, just how the the class looks for a school. They might have already taken a lot of people from this university of this demographic, and they might look at you even if you have lower numbers they might think that you would be a good addition to the diversity of that program. Uh, in addition there's a very low margin between the top pre-meds and the lowest pre-meds and so um, if you think your numbers are very low the reality is they're probably not all that different from you know some of the more competitive applicants and so you might as well apply to more places as opposed to less. Don't sell yourself short um, I think, you know, when I was applying, I didn't think I was all that great, and I, you know, put out my applications to some stretch schools, and as a result, you know, I, I was able to get accepted, and so I think you'll surprise yourself if you don't close the doors on yourself and you apply to more places. So, those are the five easiest medical school programs to get into based off of acceptance rate, but I encourage you to dig around on your own um, to check out the pre-med boot camp where 
we sort of talk about how to build your list of schools to which you're going to be applying um, in a way that will be most competitive for you. Uh, you can find all that at medschoolmastery.com. Please like, share, or comment on this video um, and uh, help us to really produce the best materials for you as a pre-med so that you can stand out from your peers. All right. We'll look forward to seeing you on the website, and thanks for listening.